Oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. Good, good talk. Good conversations tonight. Man, good conversations tonight. Man, shout out to all of the guests that came through this evening. I will be changing it up, though. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it this way. I'm doing it that way. Uh, figuring all sorts of ways to, uh, to make things happen so that, um, so that I could still do what I like to do and get quality content out to you guys. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How y'all feeling tonight? How y'all feeling tonight? Uh, of course, you guys know who I am. I'm Lockout Men, and I am back with another commentary for you guys. Of course, it's from Facebook. You know, I came across this post, and I wanted to get it out to you guys. I wanted to share it with you and see what you guys think about, you know, about their situation but before i get into that i want to talk about a youtuber that i am literally literally binge watching right now i mean ever since i was put on to this guy i never stop watching him he does like he does his live feeds every night i am subscribed to him as a matter of fact i i, I joined <laughs> I, I I joined the dude. I mean, you know, I'm just going to throw it out there. Kevin Samuels. If you guys not familiar with this dude, man, I mean, I, he he's like he just he gives it he gives it to you raw and real. You know what I'm saying? And some of the videos that I've seen with with the females that he talked to, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about the females. Like some of these females calls up this guy. Now he's now Kevin Samuels, he's an image consultant, like a relationship type of dude or something like that. But he tells it from a man's point of view. He tells it like he he pretty much tells it like it is. Like what a high value man looks for in a high value woman and and some of the stuff that he says i i i agree with him i mean you got some of these women like listen some of these women that calls up to his show already comes in with judgmental attitudes like you know i'm you know, I'm a high, I'm I'm a type of woman that's looking for a high value man, but you don't have nothing to offer to that high value man. You want a high value man. You want the man to come out here. You want the man to make six figures. You want the man to be this. You want the man to be that. But what you bring into the table? What are you bringing to the table? You want a high value man, but you're not high value yourself. But then when they get on and talk to this man, like if they want some advice and all like that, and and Kevin gives them the hard truth, they get mad. They get in their feelings. They get upset. Now he's, it was one woman that came on there like, look, uh, Kevin, um, I just think you got something against women. No, he's telling the truth. He's saying what other men, he's saying what other men is not saying. Let's be honest, like one, like, like one female that he talked to, he asked her, he, he asked her like, look, he said, you have a kid, you already got a strike against you. You have a kid, you, you're in your 40s, that's another strike against you. A high value, he says a high value man is not looking for a female that has a kid. He's not looking for a female that has uh that that that's in their I mean that's in their forties. Do you guys agree with that? I mean, if if so, just just go over to his channel and check him out. Kevin 
Samuels. Let's get into this commentary right quick. All right. So this young lady says she needs to vent. Oh man, what's 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 up? What, what you need to vent about? What's what's going on? Let me let me hear it. Let me hear it. She says, I need to vent. I was teaming with my husband and it's not working out. Soon I'll be doing it alone. I couldn't pick up things fast enough, so I was called stupid and dumb daily. Three months in, but this was this was his wish, and I tried, but I thought that this would help our uh help our relationship. But no, it just made things worse. So you got your CDLs because your husband kind of like got you to get your, you, your husband inspired you at that time to get your CDLs. You got your CDLs and now you team drive with your husband. And now your husband is calling you all sorts of names because you can't get it right. Well, what's to say about your husband? Now, before y'all got into the truck together, was he treating you at, at like that before y'all got in the truck together? I mean, he had to be that way. You had to know that he was, he was that way towards you. I mean, there must have been signs before you actually went out to team with him. I mean, you did say, you did say that uh, you you thought that this was going to help you guys' relationship, but it pretty much got worse. He's, you said that he called you stupid and dumb, that, and that's right there. That that's right there. It, it, it's time to it, it's time to renegotiate this this relationship. I mean, if he's calling you stupid and dumb, what has he done? What has he done to you before you even got into the got into the truck with him? Now you said that you're going to be driving by yourself. You're going to be driving solo. But what's that going to do about that? Ah, damn, how close you how close you get into the truck, bro? Anyway, what's that going to do to your relationship, though? You know, we know that you're going to go ahead and you're going to go solo. But what that's going to do to your relationship, you feel that it's going to be better. You you feel that it's going to be better that y'all two not together. Or is it going to be or is it going to be the same? I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave leave what you guys think in the comments below. You say you've been out on the road for three months and you pretty much couldn't get it. Well, he just wasn't patient. You know, you're you're you you're you're a new driver. You just got into the truck. You're just doing something that you that you're not even used to doing. And he's not the training type. I'm just saying. But of course I, I look, I, I hope everything works out for you. Of course I'll put you in my prayers. Just being called dumb and stupid is just plain rude, man. Again, like I said, you're just learning something new. And, of course, you would eventually get it. But I, I just think what you need to do is, is get with another trainer that has the time and it has the patience to train you properly so that you can be a good driver out here. If it's what you want to do, because it seems as though that you got your license to pretty much please him. I don't know. If it's just to grow from the relationship, again, you, you might want to separate and work on the key problem. Of course, better days is coming. 
you know, especially when you get with 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 a new trainer. But being called stupid and dumb, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's just plain disrespect. He's supposed to be your husband. You know, me and my estranged wife, we we had our 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 problems, but never for once I, I, I called her out of her name. I never called her dumb. I never called her stupid. I was understanding. That's what I am supposed to do. I am the husband. I am the provider. I am supposed to understand. I'm supposed to help. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to encourage. I'm not supposed to break you down. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But, you know, being in a confined space, maybe he just wasn't used to it. Maybe he just wasn't used to you being in, in this confined space. That's why, like, when I, I, I I'm not I'm not that type of driver that teams. Especially with another dude. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Not going to happen. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to team with, a, with another dude. Now, with another female, hopefully, first thing first, before I even team with a female, first thing first, she's going to have to be trained by somebody else, you know, because maybe, maybe I, you know, I like him. He didn't have the patience, but I won't go as far as to call you out of your name and 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 tear you down. I don't do that. You aren't. Th just know for sure that you're not stupid and you're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe he could have said this out of frustration, but still, even out of frustration. Calling you that is still a no-no. No. It's definitely a no-no. So with that said, everybody, I mean, let, let me know in the comments below what, what kind of advice that you will have for this young lady. And what do you guys think? Was 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 her husband wrong for what 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 he called her? I, I think he was wrong. I think he was dead wrong. You know? If you that's your that's your wife, bruh. You supposed to help her. You the one that got her into into the truck, would you? I mean, what you was doing over there in the bed with her, like, yo, babe, you know. I wish you was out on the road with me. You know, I could get you out on the road and we can go and chase this bad together. Why don't you go and get your CDLs and you know, you, 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 we, we could team drive together and we can make this money together. And I guess she was like, oh, yeah. All right. I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's hey, let's go out. Let's I, I, I'll get it for you. We about to we about to make it happen. We about to do the damn thing. But yet you get her on the truck and she's having a hard time maybe with shifting maybe with backing maybe with keeping it in in between the lines and you over here just calling her all sorts of names and just make making her confidence weaker than what it already is don't give up all right don't give up don't give up just get with another you know just get with another company, get with a trainer that can that can train you properly. And I guarantee you, your confidence will be through the stratosphere. And I guarantee you, when you grab your confidence, he's going to feel some kind of way. And if he does ask you to come back, oh, baby, I'm sorry. And, you know, I didn't mean to do that and say that I didn't mean none of that. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, you stay over there. We'll meet up at the house because we don't need to be together. Calling me stupid and dumb. Was I stupid and dumb when you laid down with me? Come on now. Was I, was I stupid and dumb when I had your kids? This, this is the millennial now. This is the millennial. Just saying. 
So, with that said, I hope everything works out for you. I I I, I definitely hope to see that. I hope that this doesn't encourage you from, you know, driving trucks. You know what I'm saying? I hope it doesn't. So definitely get out here, do the damn thing, and do the best that you can because you're not stupid and you're not dumb. Well, that's going to do it, everybody, for this commentary for the night. I tell you, man, if y'all like content like this or more, or if y'all have a post that I'm interested that, that I might be interested in, I'll bring it out on the video. If you want to come on to the show and chop it up with me on the on the Lockout Man podcast show, you can do that. You can hit me up in the DM over at Instagram, or you can hit me up in the uh Gmail. That's like our man podcast at gmail.com. Look here. Let me just tell you something, man. I appreciate you guys. I, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys watching. Look, shout out to my man, Kevin Samuels. If you guys definitely want to check him out, check out his channel, Kevin Samuels. And it's, it's some really, 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 really good content over there. Um, Again, if you guys want to come on, y'all know what to do. So if you want to, you know, just show me some support, show me some love. Y'all know what to do. Yo, until next time, I'll come at you guys with another video. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>